This video is part of the hashtag DME video series on YouTube at the moment in celebration of International Women's Day. So what advice would I offer my younger self? All right, here we go. DME, the first thing I would tell you, younger Natasha, is wipe that clown-like makeup right off your face. Stop putting those toxins onto your nails with the fake nails and dyeing your hair all different colors. Stop putting those toxins into your body and stop wasting your time. There are so many more important things for you to do in your lifetime on this planet. I just want you to stop wasting your time with such bullshit. That stuff does not matter. I don't care what you look like and you're not gonna care what you look like very, very soon, trust me. I need you to start carving up. I need you to start eating more calories from carbohydrates. I need you to start going to bed earlier. You're really gonna wanna do that and you wanna start exercising more. I know right now you hate moving, everything hurts, but later on you're going to regret it. So start moving your body, start thinking about what you're eating and just how you're treating yourself. So that's my first piece of advice to you. My second thing that I wanna to say to you, little Natasha, is I know that you're concerned about women's rights. I know as you're thinking about these things on International Women's Day, you're concerned about civil liberties, about violence towards women, about equality, all the things that are you know, part of the women's rights movement. And we have to remember that we reap in our own lives what we sow in the lives of others. So one of the most important things that you need to do is to go vegan okay that's that word compassion and non-violence for people for the animals and for the planet why am I asking you to do this because when you're consuming meat dairy and eggs you are sowing seeds of abuse of violence of rape of murder of torture in the lives of female animals all over this planet so when we're talking about women's rights, we're not just talking about humans, about human women, we're talking about females on this planet, including non-human animals. And they suffer so greatly. Read a book called The World Peace Diet by Dr. Will Tuttle. Chapter seven is called The Domination of the Feminine. Read it, learn about Sophia, the feminine in all of us, and how she is suppressed and dominated and destroyed when we do these things to female animals, because what we sow in the lives of others, we reap in our own lives. So if we want peace and justice for women as women in our lives, we need to stop sowing seeds of pain and suffering and abuse and rape and murder in the lives of female animals. And that's what this chapter is about, the domination of the feminine. So if we want true liberation as women, we need to start helping other females on this planet be liberated. And the very first step that we can take, the easiest thing we can do is to go vegan and stop the enslavement, the abuse, rape and torture of other females on this planet. Now I know that you're going to have so many problems with your menstrual cycle. You've got years ahead of you of a lot of pain, a lot of pain, and um, I'm sorry, but it's going to be very difficult times. So again, what can you do? You can stop the, the domination and the manipulation of other females' reproductive systems and, and menstrual cycles, and we're talking about egg-laying hens and dairy cows. While you're still eating dairy and eggs, you are contributing, you are paying someone to torture those female animals and then you're putting that in your body. Once you stop eating those foods, your health will improve, your, your period, your menstrual cycle will be so much better. You will rid yourself of this pain one day, I promise you. But again, we reap what we sow. I know you're gonna spend so much time and energy thinking about things, trying to plan your life in every little detail. And I know one of the things that you're gonna spend a lot of time and energy on is trying to decide whether you actually wanna have children, whether you wanna be a mother and raise a family in this world. Well, let me tell you, kid, it ain't gonna happen, so stop stressing about it. You're gonna marry someone who is gonna have a vasectomy and you will both understand that there is so much more work to do on this planet. There are over 7 billion people on this planet that need to be woken up. And it's gonna be your job 
to go and help spread this message and wake those people up. You're going to decide that bringing one more mouth, hungry mouth into this world is just not the path for you. You're going to help educate and revolutionize the lives of other people that are just stuck in this system, in this mindset of creating pain and suffering for others and thinking it's okay. So don't worry about whether you want to have children or not, it's not gonna happen. Your calling is to help the people that already exist in this world. Save as many animals as you possibly can in the process. So that's my advice to my younger self and now I'd love to hear from you guys. What advice would you offer your younger self? Post down below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time guys.